All you need to do is to type some few words and then one click, your logo is created. And same as this one here, you just need to upload your photo, type some few words and then one click, your flyer is created. A friend of mine sent me this flyer and he was like, you people are in trouble because you use AI to create this completely from scratch. And this friend has almost zero knowledge in graphic design, but he was able to get this particular result. And this is very massive. I'm going to show you how he did this so you can work faster, smarter, and lazier to be very honest. And later in this video, I will show you how this logo right here was created completely with AI. Disclaimer, this is a lazy approach to designing anything and kind of stealing ideas if you don't take care. This was designed by Victor Ekechuku, the Jesus Christ designer. We are going to use this one right here to actually create our own one using AI. So open your favorite browser and then search lmarena.ai. I'm going to leave the link in the description so you can check it out in the description. Now click on the link like so and as you can see you have this interface right here all you have to do first is to click on the button here and then click on direct chat and now come down here for what we are going to do specifically you have to click on the image icon here that is generated to me so click on it and now when you click on it make sure that the ai selected here is the gemini pro image preview 2k and now what we are going to do next is that we are going to click on the plus sign here like so that's going to help us to upload the image we are going to upload the first image that is the reference flyer and we are going to click on the plus sign again so we are going to use this image right here and now i'm going to tell the ai to replace the image on the flyer with this one right here that is the first thing that we are going to do replace the images on the flyer with the man's flyer like so so let's hit enter and let's see the magic that this ai will do And just look at this you can see for yourself that it has changed the pictures as i want them to be and as you can see the picture was not a full picture but the ai managed to add the trousers and then the shoes and was able to blend them nicely with the floor and all that you can see what it did right here and now i wanted to specifically change the name to and some other details so it can be more personal with this particular flyer so i went ahead and then told the AI to change the dimension to that of the original flyer and replace the, that is the name on the flyer with this one and then this other name to this one and this was the result and as you can see everything was just perfect the font they used was the same as the font that the AI used and the placement and everything is just on point so looking at this what I'm trying to communicate is that you need to be telling the AI what you need to take out and what you need to add and what you need to change that is all you have to do just one design is not good but maybe when you get some two or three designs you combine the ideas and then you put things together and then you just command the ai to just join join them and then you are good to go so one thing that you have to take note is that when you are editing let's say this one this one that was generated let's say if i want to edit it i don't have to just comment the edit let me show you what i mean by that let's say this one right here i want to edit something right here i don't have to just type here for that thing to take effect what i have to do is that i have to either click on edit or if I am not seeing the edit, let me scroll. This one, the edit will show. But sometimes you may not be seeing the edit. So if you are not seeing the edit, all you have to do is I'll just download it. So when you download it, and then you click on the plus sign, and then you go for them again in wherever you download them. And then you describe what you want to do with it. Because if you don't see the edit sign, like this one, this one, you have the edit sign. So it's gonna work. But if you don't see the edit sign, and you go ahead and then you type in what you want to do just look at what he's going to do let me delete this guy and let me just say say it should remove the dates from the flyer let's see what he's going to do to the flyer it doesn't actually have anything that is sorry it doesn't actually have anything that is looking up to so it's going to give us any random thing you just let's see what it's going to bring up you can see for yourself you see it took a random thing and then did a random thing so if you want it to actually affect the design you either click on the edit or you download it if the edit is not showing you download it and then you command it and you are going to get a result that you want you don't need to start from scratch when you can start from period this pack is loaded with editable high quality psd files for church flyers 
event flyers and business flyers. The layers are carefully arranged and grouped, making them easy to understand and edit for both personal and commercial use. And not just that, but also with no backgrounds that you can use for numerous of projects. Premium pockets as well for t-shirts, logos, devices, banners, and a lot more. Over 2,000 premium fonts in addition to the fonts collection I personally use for my design projects, as well as premium textures or chest flyers and any other design you are working on. Over 100 images without background that you can use for your social media designs and any other designs that you are working on. Editable 3D fonts as well, icons, color samples, and HD shapes are all included in this particular package. Now, the best part of this is that new resources are continually added over time. And with this, you are not just going to create any design, but a masterpiece all the time. And guess what? There is your coping 60% discount on this package this festive season. Valid until January 2nd, 2026. So jump on this right now. Use the first link in this video's description to check it out. Now, let's do something with this particular logo right here. Now, I have this logo here and then I design it for a particular client but I want to change it to something else and also treat it some more I will show you how you can use just some few ways and one click to customize this logo for your brand so it's going to be the same process come to your favorite browser and then search the LM Arena as I said I'm going to leave the link in the description so do check them out in the video description so when you get here guess what we did you first of all click on this part click on direct chart and then before you click on anything come down here click on the generate images and make sure the Gemini 3 Pro image preview is selected for what I am going to do. After that, you just have to click on the plus sign. So I'm going to tell the AI actually change this logo from the AB to let's say BC. The AB is the initials for this brand, but I'm going to use a different initial that is BC for this same brand. So the BC is maybe a brand that deals with hair, cosmetics and all that. And it's just like this one so just telling the ai to change the letters here to bc keeping the other elements then like so let's see what it's gonna do as you can see it just did a very perfect job so if you want something to be done about it you just have to just come down here and as you can see we don't have the edit right here so if you just type anything, you're going to pick up any random thing and then they do something to it. But if you want to directly edit this one, you have to download it first. And then after downloading, we click on the plus sign to upload it. And there we can do our changes to it. Yeah, so as you can see, there is the BC and this is the AB, the reference logo or the original logo that I generated this for. As I told you, this is kind of the laziest approach to designing anything professional. So with your creativity, you can actually combine some ideas and then come up with something you need for your brand or for your clients. You don't just need to always do copy and paste as I am doing right here. Because this one is just a tutorial for you to actually know what the possibilities are and what you can do with this particular AI. And I'll be doing more videos about this AI. So all that you have to do is hit on that subscribe button and turn on that notification. Until next time guys, quench your creativity. Peace.